Shalom. My name is Yotam Dagan. I am a senior psychologist at Natal, Israel Center for Trauma and Resilience. First, I want to express our deep feelings of sadness and grief following the attack in your communities. In the next minute or so, I would like to share with you some of what have worked for us in similar events with the Havanov community in Jerusalem and in other places in Israel and around the world. More specifically, since Shabbat is coming and a one week after the event, with all the emotions you know, uh, reactivated and the need to get back to the synagogues and to get back on our feet, I think that as leaders of your community, you will be facing some um, questions of how to lead your communities and how to help the community bounce back and get back to normal functioning um, at the best pace possible. Crisis leadership is about acknowledging the way that people feel. People are going to be afraid. Your congregants, some of them, would prefer to stay at home. And while it is important to encourage them to come to shul, you should also know that for some of them it's going to take more time. Enabling such a place for mourning, for grief, and for fear is important, while at the same time generating positive expectations of getting back to normal functioning. The second thing is, think about your congregants, think about your communities, think about those who knew the deceased, the murdered, Think about those who could have been there, but were not. Think about those who might feel uh, responsible, or ashamed, or in some way uh, that they could have done or should have done something to avoid it, and at the end of the day, feel very, very bad, even if the facts suggest otherwise. If you map those circles of vulnerability, those who have been close to the event, those who have been close to the affected, both geographically, psychologically, and socially, you will know who needs to be monitored and who might need to get help. And lastly, as faith leaders and as, le as leaders of your community, you are in the best positions to help. You can inspire congregations, you can show and lead the way forward, you can generate meaning to what has happened, and you do that because that's what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. But think about the trauma and think about the fear. Acknowledge the tears and acknowledge what people feel and just be there, even if you do not have the answers or all of them, and you know that it's going to be hard. Just be there and with time and with your leadership, your communities will be back on, on their feet and hopefully feel much better within a few days or a few weeks. Shabbat Shalom.